guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys the uh, ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy Nexus for the last week or so. This is Axiom by Droid Theory. He's been working on this ROM. Uh, he has given this ROM more support than most developers that I've seen lately. This guy's had an update for his ROM, Axiom, just about every single night. In fact, as I record this video, I'm sure he has another update that's being uploaded as we speak. So I'm on version 4. I don't know what version is going to be up by the time this gets posted, but let's go ahead and jump into the review. So you'll see here that I'm using the Apex Launcher. It's very quick, very fast. It has lots of customization features here. It has some really good folder options. It's got some good dock options. And of course you saw the scrolling transition. I really like this Apex Launcher. It's just come out of beta, in fact, and it's on the market. Uh, let's see here. That's incredibly blurry. Sorry about that. Uh, so the Apex Launcher here, very quick, very snappy, very fluid. Uh, one thing about this ROM that sets it apart from the others here, of course, it has all of the theory mods, all the theory tweaks that make this thing just very speedy, and also it consumes battery at a very good rate. Uh, one thing that you will have to keep in mind, though, about this ROM is that once it settles down, uh, you get everything set up, be sure to reboot it so that all the all the scripts, script mods or whatever can go into effect and that will help you with your battery life and also with your performance. But do make sure to reboot it. If you don't reboot it, none of that stuff will take effect. So you do have master mod settings here. Uh, this is something that they've been working on here. You have status bar mods and uh, you can tweak your, look, let's see here, your signal mods and also your battery mods. Your navigation mods here. And there's a ton to choose from, uh, so this is really cool. I like the the tech soft keys; those are really neat. And then, of course, you have full themes. For now, all we have is Honey Scream, but I know that Mastermod's working on some more themes for this Mastermod settings. Uh, so you guys know that this is an AOKP Kang, so along with all the cool Droid Theory customizations for performance and all, uh, and battery optimization, you do have the ROM control box from Roman, uh, the original creator of AOKP. So most of you guys already know what's going on here by now. You do have some general UI settings, so the 180 degree rotation so that you can flip your phone upside down which is awesome for the Galaxy Nexus because your audio jack is in a really awkward spot and uh, so if you're in the car you can actually plug it into the top where we all thought it should go of course there's some other modifications there as well you have the navigation uh, bar settings here where you can change the color you can change the way that they're laid out you can add the menu button or the search button Several different things you can change there in the lock screen options. You can choose a style. You can go either quad or octo. I prefer octo, and I'll show you what it looks like here. So I have four targets here, and those are totally customizable. I can put whatever there that I want. And see, so you can customize those apps as you please. The power menu options, you can select show screenshot and show the torch toggle so that way when I hold this I get my screenshot and my torch flashlight and you can enable the weather so that when I pull down there would be like some weather information there on my pull down uh, you do have LED options you can change the color of your LED to whatever color you like you can also change the pulse rate uh, you can change your toggles that's what's up here. I like the alternate toggles. You can just check that box there. And that gives you, in my opinion, it just gives you a sleeker, uh, better looking toggle system. And of course you can change your clock. I like the center clock. If you go to clock style, you can change that to your center clock. You can also change the color. You can change your battery. Uh, if I go to icon style, I prefer text, but you have several other options there as well. Uh, so basically, in the performance settings, of course, you can change your max CPU all the way up to 1350 megahertz. And you can also choose a scaling governor and make that conservative if you want to save some battery. It does ask for super user permissions, and I just denied it. So, anyhow, that's there. Um, 
tons and tons of customization. In fact, the very first time that I ever boot into AOKP, I spend probably at least 10 or 15 minutes just customizing it to the way that I like it. You'll get the feel of how you like your ROM, and of course, you'll be able to go in there and set it up really quick. But this is Axiom Crossbreed for the Galaxy Nexus. It is one of my favorites. I haven't tried I. C sorcery yet but uh, this is the one that I've probably run the longest here this past month I've had it on and off on this phone I like it a lot Droid Theory does really good work I started liking his work on the Droid Bionic and of course I like it now so uh, that is Axiom Crossbreed for the Galaxy Nexus be sure to head to the link in the description download the ROM and uh, install that if you don't know how to install a ROM check out one of my other videos I don't have time to do the install directions today but any of my other ROM reviews I always include an install guide uh, very simple uh, especially on his ROMs you'll want to wipe data wipe cache wipe Dalvik and then go into advanced settings and format I'm sorry mount and system settings and you'll want to format your system always be sure to format your system uh, before you install an axiom any type of droid theory rom requires a format system also on this axiom rom when you install just a note do not install any g apps because all of his g apps are included in this rom uh, so you don't have to do that extra pesky step of installing the G apps. It's already been done for you. Uh, so anyhow, that is the Axiom Crossbreed ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Guys, check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks and news for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 of 3. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one.